The Castries market was bustling with activity on day three of the relaxed curfew as St. Lucian's make preparations for the approaching Easter weekend. One vendor says customers are turning to the markets for goods as they try to beat the long lines and waiting periods at the supermarkets. Tomorrow is a holiday and then supermarket is closed. So supermarket are not closed. Um, a lot of people are down the line for supermarkets so then they find it's easier for them to go and get the stuff here than taking the line. Another vendor who has left with a glut of produce which all spoiled wants to be compensated for losses given the sudden 24-hour curfew. The sales not too bad, huh? but the curfew they gave us from, from last week, I, I lose all my goods. They were on, on my chair because we didn't know. We, we wasn't expecting the, the shutdown. So our, our things got spoiled on the tray. So I lost, I lost my trade on my money. So I don't know, I don't know where I get it. I don't know if they want to give it back to me. But right now I have no more money. So I hope, I hope that Prime Minister, when, when he give, when he give all his monies, you have to remember that other vendors buy the market. And there are others who understand the economic situation brought about by the COVID-19 pandemic and doing what they can to get by. What did Jesus give me? That's what I take in. I'm not worrying myself. As usual, to me the same way it is, I see no change. I'm not worrying about nothing because I already know that's how it is. There have been concerns among some vendors about the zoning protocols, which restrict movement between the north and the south of the island to decrease public interaction and slow the spread of the virus. Zone 1 encompasses the northern communities and stretches from Tikai Ancillary and ends in Grozili. And Zone 2 covers from canneries all the way to the southern tip of the Beaufort Peninsula. Some vendors find themselves in a bind as they are situated in the north and depend on goods coming in from the south. Gino Filippi, HTS News Force.